everybody? I'm DJ Envy, and I'm your host for the 2023 BET Awards Red Carpet Pre-Show presented by Nissan. We are absolutely in that Nissan bag today, and I'm here live where the sun is shining bright, but not as much as me. As you can see, I got the sparkly shoes on. I'll show you all that later. I'm feeling good. I'm glad to be on the red carpet. We're back again this year. Bigger, better, and blacker. We're about to have a good time today. This year marks the 50th year of hip hop. And y'all already know the BET Awards are about to celebrate big. So I need y'all to do a couple of things if you're rocking out with us. There's a lot of guests that's going to be popping through. And we're interactive with it, all right? So that means I want to hear from you. So I need you to tap in with me and leave your thoughts in the comments during the show. Tell me who you're most excited to see on the red carpet, who you think is going to have the biggest drip, and who do you hope hits that stage for Hip Hop 50th. And be sure to include the hashtags, hashtag BET Awards, and hashtag Coach's Biggest Night. All right, I'll definitely be reading some of your comments live during the pre-show, so make sure you keep it classy because I know you guys out there, all right? Now, okay, if you know, you know we're about to chop it up with the red carpet with some of the biggest and brightest in black culture and create some uh, one-of-a-kind exclusive moments that can only happen here with me, DJ, Envy, and BET, all right? That a red carpet is getting packed, so it's time to check in with who's pulled up so far. And I see my guy, Boosie. Boosie Badass. Boosie is here. Boosie, what up? First of all, I'm glad to see you, brother. I'm back outside. Now, you just come, came home, and the one thing you said was you needed... Three tickets to the BET Awards. Did you get those tickets? A closed mouth, don't get fed, right? Where I'm at. You here, so you got those three I tickets. I got them tickets. Yeah, you got now. Tyler Perry on BET now. <laughs> so you got those tickets. I'm, here. I'm, I'm, I'm in the building. So Hip Hop 50, are you excited to see anybody at all? Who do you want to see tonight? Uh, I want to see uh, really everybody, bro. I'm just a, I'm a fan of hip hop. I'm a part of hip hop. You know, Busta Rhymes, Big Night, that's always been my boy. He always, since I was a kid, he always looked out for me, so. I'm just happy to be here, man. I'm happy to be out. You said he's always looked out for you. Did he do something special or was it nah, just Nah, he gave me motivation. Yeah. Every time he saw me over when I was coming up, he motivated me. Then, you know, he made me want to put on all them chains. And yep, yep, yep. Buster was, you know, Buster, that's what, when I look at Buster, I used to be like, I won't look like that, you know? So who motivates Boosie now? Me. You? Me. I'm not motivated by anybody else. No. I'm a motivated by me. I'm, I'm in competition with me. I feel like nobody's doing what I'm doing, so I'm not motivated by that. I'm doing this by myself. Mostly, I got hands, but I'm independent doing this by, ain't too many independent artists here. That, you're absolutely right. And you're releasing a new project. You got a, a new project. Yeah, out. Best tell, Album of 23. Tell the people about it. I just dropped my album. Uh, it's called The Best Album of 2023. Right. And I just dropped the album yesterday, too, mm -hmm. called First Day Back. So uh, I don't stop, man. I just keep on going, and I got a fan base that, that stick with me. Right. Now, you just came home. What's next for Boosie? Because I know you, you're going to do a lot of work now, because now it's like you, under, you realize it's not a game. Anything can happen at any given moment. So what's on the future horizon for Boosie? Well, uh, I think I'm going to shoot this next film I got called Little Saints with, uh, with Desert Banks. After that, I'm going to drop another film. I'm trying to get into motivational speaking too okay you know so, so I'm, you know if you need a platform to put your films out you know this is a great platform and you just told yeah, me who, who yeah, just allegedly yeah, purchased it yeah i know it. but right now i'm on boostermovie.com okay boostermovie.com okay got, you know but we can bring we can talk we can bring it to bet because my movies need to be on bet i agree especially my life story my struggle i feel like it needs to be on bet and people need to get motivated by it man and last thing where's your son last time you had your son with you he was here with you where's your son uh he's not here uh I'm training him to uh, uh, have safe sex right now. Jesus Christ. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Boosie Badass, he's going inside. He's home. I'm glad he's home. It's good to see the brother. And he, <laughs> Boosie's here. All right. Keep it locked. We're going to be talking to more people on this red carpet. It's the BET Awards red carpet. I'm Live back outside. I'm back outside. Nissan. Boosie Badass is here. Let's see who else we can pull to the carpet. And make sure you tap in right now with me. All you got to do is hashtag BET up, Awards. Baby? And right. also, hashtag yeah. Coach's Biggest Nights, all right? Make sure you tap in with me. We're going to read some more of your stuff. And we're going to bring in some more. All right, so we, we, we're talking to the carpet. Now, everybody's walking through. Everybody's walking by. Now, this is how you know it's live, right? Because usually there are people coming in, and we just got to see who's here. 
Now, she's over there taking pictures where she should be, should be over here with me, but we'll get it together. So, so far, I've seen Eva. Eva looked amazing as she walked through. You know, she just directed uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos, so that was a dope a goat look. Who else did I run into? I ran into Jada Kiss on the park. Hello, lovely lady. How are you doing? How are you Thank doing? You. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much. BET How are you? Awards. I'm great. Who are you looking forward to see tonight? Oh my goodness, so many people. I definitely want to see Busta Rhymes, obviously. What's your favorite Busta song? Um, well, uh, Janet Jackson, Busta Rhymes. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Yeah. That's all the part you know. I, I can't. I, that's not my. That's not my lane. Okay. All right. But I definitely. Yeah. That. And one. who else do you look forward to seeing tonight? Um, I really want to. Please, can we have Lotto do "Rip Me Out the Plastic"? I've been acting brand new. I need to see that. Okay. I have to see it live. That and I um, I need some dance hall in there. A little so dance I heard hall. Shaggy. Okay. Spice, mm -hmm. cause I got a shout out to my Jamaican family. Okay, so people want to know what are you wearing? Um, so this is from the Trend House. The designer, you'll have to talk to them about it. My stylist found it for me. His name is Magic, and yeah, get into it. All right. Well, enjoy yourself tonight. We appreciate you for stopping through. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you so much. All right. We got more people to talk about. The red, thank you so much. The red carpet is going down. And like I said, you can holler at me on the red carpet. Hashtag BET Awards or hashtag Coach's Biggest Nights. Le Bianca, hey, how are you feeling? How are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Now, you're, in, you're nominated for Best International Act. How does that feel? That feels very uh, great. I feel very honored. Are you nervous at all? Um, no, not really. No? Who are you excited to see tonight? I'm excited to see Busta. I'm excited to see Berna. I'm excited to see Ira. Um, and a lot of other people. <laughs> a lot of other people. Now, Everyone. we talk about Busta. What's your favorite Busta Rhymes song? I just don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to go. And I'm going to get it. And I'm going to get it. And I'm going to get it. Do you know the lyrics? No. no well, well, obviously, I can't do it that fast. But, uh, yeah. We just hum it. Yeah. Who else are you looking forward to see tonight besides Burner and Buster and? Like I said, everybody. That's, it? That's yeah. it. You said everybody that you want to see. All right. Well, good luck tonight. Hopefully, you come home with an award, and we appreciate you for stopping through. Thank Anything you. Anything you want to tell the people out there watching? Um, keep doing what you love and stay beautiful. All right. Thank you so much, and have a great time tonight. And what are you wearing for people out there that want to know? I don't know. Um, okay. I know Mitchy styled me, so thank you, Mitchy. Um, and I also have my hair and my makeup done by my sister, B. B Natural Cosmetics. Okay. And yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you. Enjoy yourself tonight. Thank you, friend. All right. As you see, people are coming in. Uh, it's still early, so people are walking the carpet. I've seen Rich the Kid and Tori. I see uh, Michael Blackson all the way in the back. I see so many people coming through. This is what it's all about. It's about black excellence and, and feeling good. And, and let me see, and then I got Big Daddy Kane over there. I got Lazy Bone over there. So these are the people. Matter of fact, let me pull Lazy up right fast. Lazy Bone, hey, what's up, brother? How you feeling? Feeling great. Looking amazing tonight? Thank you, man. You too, man. Likewise. How's it going, man? I mean, I'm blessed by the best. Now, of course, this is 50 anniversary of hip-hop. Yes, sir. Who are you excited to see tonight? Man, I heard they was honoring Busta, man. Yes. Ooh, that's going to go down. Yes, it is. Yeah. Take it away, take it away, take, take, take it away, take it away now. now. Now, you were probably one of the only artists in history to do a record with Pac and Biggie. Mm -hmm. If I think about it, is there anybody else? Um, Flesh got a song with Big Pun. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yes, uh, so all the greats. Biggie, yeah, all of them. So how was that to be in that, in that record book for that? Jay told me to pay my taxes. Did you listen? I, yeah, I did. <laughs> That's the one thing you Thank listened God. to. Thank God. So how was that, working with both Pac and Biggie? I mean, at that time, it was kind of crazy because the eyes was, you know, it wasn't in our favor, but being from Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was neutral. You so, realize how much of history that is? I do. Like, that is amazing. That's probably part of the reason I'm still standing on the stage with you, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. The fact that y'all were Easy's artists and y'all did records with Pac and did records with, with Biggie is just, it's just history. And and from the tree of Easy e Absolutely. So, well, we appreciate you for coming out, man, and look forward man. to you. Hey, look, 30 years of Bone Thugs and Harmony, too. And you know what is crazy? You know, y'all never came on the breakfast come club. Talk to I was about gonna say that y'all never I came get everybody together. That's right. Come on through. Yeah, it's How's it going? Y'all still good? Are yeah, we good. Y'all performing? Man, no we problems. Fight like brothers. Y'all fight you know like how brothers. We do it. Who wins the fights though? I do. All Lights the time. Always yeah, yeah, yeah. Little nigga too. Excuse my friend. <laughs> so good. There you have it. Appreciate you, brother. Right, thank you. Thank man. you so much. Enjoy the night, man. You look good. Thank you, brother. Gotta take your mic. Thank you, brother. Now you spit for yourself. I mean, as you see, we're running into everybody on the carpet. It's the most amazing feeling. And I, and I see probably one of the OGs and the legends, 
one of the OGs and legends. Where, where's, where's, I, I thought I seen Big Daddy Kane walking around. Michael Blackson, come on up here. What is this? Uh, this is a uh, hot 11 peacocks. 11 okay? peacocks. I call my village. I said, give me something that nobody else is wearing. That is true. You know, it's <laughs> hot out here. Like, it's, it's like 90 degrees. When I was born, it was 130 degrees, okay? This is nothing to me. You are absolutely right. <laughs> so how is everything? How are you doing? I'm doing great, how, man. How are the boys doing, man? The boys are good. They're in there. Um, came out to the awards with me. Mm -hmm. Their first BT awards. Mm -hmm. uh, everything's great, man. I got a lot of things in the works. Touring. My school is coming along pretty well That's back right. home. Um, and I'm excited about 50 years of... Hip hop, man. Who are, you, who are you looking forward to see tonight? My goodness, you know when I was uh, when I came to America, it was what year was it? '85. Mm -hmm. I was a little boy. I watched Run DMC. I saw those guys grow, and then I remember L Cool J, and then KRS One, Public Enemy, and then we got into like late '80s, and Busta Rhymes yep. came out, and Big Daddy Kane, De La Soul, Eric B and Rakim. I watched all those guys from their young age. I grew up with them. Right. So I'm excited about. I'm excited about seeing whoever pop on that stage tonight. But of course, most important at all, uh, Buster Ron receiving his uh, Lifetime Achievement Award, well-deserved. Absolutely. I'm excited for him. I'm excited I seen Big Daddy Kane I in high school. Kane, yeah. I thought I was Big Daddy Kane. How? I mean, don't I look like him? No. Put the box on top of my head, cut this up right here, slice my eyebrows, silk shirt, and a nice dookie fat rope. No. I'm not Big Daddy Kane. You're not Big Daddy Kane. Not at all. Skinny Daddy Kane, maybe. <laughs> Skinny Daddy Kane. <laughs> So, so before you get out of here, what's your favorite Busta Rhymes song? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, what, you, don't, the, you don't even know him of it. You just I don't know, yeah, yeah, I just know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Busta <laughs> Rhymes had his own language, he okay? Did. All jokes aside, I never understood nothing he said, but I danced to every song. There you go. Congratulations, Busta Rhymes. All right. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's Michael Blackson. Get your hot ass inside, because I know you're hot as a mother. <laughs> Appreciate you. As you see. More and more artists are stopping through. I mean, it's going to be such a great night. It's nothing more than... Hey, what's up, brother? Of course, you got the brother, Matt Hoffa. What's up, hey, bro? How, how you how doing, you feeling, sir? How's everything great, with you, man? man? Excellent, man. It'll be, you know, uh, number one uh, hip-hop podcast. There you go. Independent black podcast. There you go. On the... On the red you know carpet. That's amazing. That's right. And you actually was hosting yesterday. You were doing some things for BT yesterday. Yes, 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 yes. So yes. how's we it did feel to go from battle rapper to the other side of things, the media side? It feels good, man. I think that if you could be great in multiple fields, that's a testimony of your own greatness. You know what I'm saying? Does it give you a little edge because you were, well, you are a rapper and you know what to ask, you know what rappers like, you know what they don't like? Well, you know, if you're a battle rapper, you know how to grill people, you know how mm -hmm. to dig. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it does kind of give me an edge. You and would you I mean? get back into that field in the back in the battle rapping? No. <laughs> nah, not at all. No, I mean, you, make you never know. Doing this, huh? You never know, man. You never know. I think that um, there's a lot of industry rappers that's interested in battling. Like, go check out Me versus Method Man, mm -hmm. Me versus Nicky Jam. I would love to do something like that again. But as far as the battle rap community, I would want to bring somebody up rather than, you Got know. Got you. So next question, next question I was going to ask you. So tonight, a lot of people are getting nominated. Of course, BET is being, uh, Buster Rhymes is being honored. Woo, What's your Brooklyn. favorite Buster Rhymes record? Brooklyn, my favorite Busta Rhymes record. It, it's going to sound generic, but put your hands where my eyes okay. can see. That's a classic. You Video's I mean? classic. I got a lot of dubs to that joint. Okay, so it's, Cl classic. It, it, it holds a special place in my heart. You classic. know what I mean? Now, there's a lot of people out there doing podcasts, and Math Hoffa, your podcast took off pretty fast. Right. So for people out there that's trying to get into the podcast world, what would you tell them to get your podcast going expeditiously? I use a T.I. word. I think that um, the, the, the most important thing it's to start. Mm -hmm. Just start. Once you start, you figure it out from there. All right. Well, there you have it, Math Hopper. Enjoy yourself inside. And it's always good to see a fellow boy. New Yorker. You look spiffy, brother. Thank, thank you, sir. All right. Them now, shoes, though. You know. Them shoes. You know, you know this, is, this is my grown man. My grown uh, man. My grown man. Yeah, you know, my grown somebody. man. Hey, just crazy. in case. But as we say, you can always hashtag because we would love to talk to you. I'll take mm -hmm. that from you, brother. We'd love to talk to you. That's hashtag BET Awards or hashtag Coach's Biggest Nights. We're talking to so many different people. I see my brother Kid Capri walking in, who's one of the idols and legends that I look up to. Go, what up, Kid? Come over here for one second, Kid. Now, uh, so this is what it's all about. You're seeing people and you're just talking to them. So if you don't know, if it wasn't for Kid Capri, I probably wouldn't be where I am now. What's, What's up, up brother? How's it going, man? How you doing, my How dog? you feeling, man? Shop, like How you doing? Gorgeous. How's, How's everything? Good, good, good. Yep. So now, if you don't know, this is the legend, the icon, Kid Capri, who a lot of DJs got their start from. So, Kid, 50 years of hip-hop. What mm -hmm. does that mean to you? 
It means a lot, man, because as a youngin', as a kid, when there was no money, they told us that it was just noise and it wasn't going to be around a long time. It was just going to be a fad. And to see it, you know, taking care of people all these years later, 50 years later, I'm curating the whole awards. Just you know take saying? a step this way so they can uh, see you on the, on the camera. Yeah, yep. you know, curating the whole awards like this is just dope to see, man. You know, um, I looked at the, all the rehearsals and everything. It's just, it's just a proud moment. And, uh, you know, a lot of struggle, but it took care of a lot of people. Uh, created opportunities for so many people. Look at you, man. Look how far we came. That's man. It's right. So dope. It's so dope, man. So I'm proud to be a part of it. Now, people know? don't know who this, this uh, young lady is right here. Tell them who this young lady is. It's my daughter, Vina Love. My name is Vina Love, Harlem <laughs> Princess. It's your girl, yo. <laughs> and she's an artist, so you can check her out. Tell them how they can check you out. You can find me everywhere. B-I-N-A-L-O-V-E. -E, all my music, videos. And follow me on Instagram, y'all. That's where all the updates is at. All right, well, Envy, look at this. Look at her, look at her train. Look what she got back here. I see that's that's the oh wow, 50 look at years this of hip hop. That's really dope. Incredible. That is really dope. And of course, she got the legends: K. Slade, Busta Rhymes, Big L, Rakim, Lil Kim, TLC. And I appreciate you. I know you got to get inside. Appreciate thank you so much, man. Thank you, Envy. All thank right, you thank you. you thank you so much. Absolutely, we're cricketing with everybody, and now it's time to bring up probably one of the most crunkest people I know. When it's time to get ready to fight. She's the person you want to, oh, maybe not. I, I see Big Daddy Kane and I see Diamond from Crime Mob here. This, this is what it's about. Hey, how, how you doing? How's it going? How's everything? I was just telling him that when it comes to fighting and, and records that's going to turn people up, you are probably number one on that list. Yep. So how is it going? Amazing. 50 years of hip hop, we're excited. Crime Mob is here, we're performing at the pre-show. Actually closing out the pre-show, kicking things off for the main show. I'm just happy to see everybody. That's right. Now, who are you looking forward to see tonight? Ah, uh, Chief Keef. Chief Keef. Chief Keef. You know what? Me they too, because we've never outside. seen him. we never seen Chief Keef outside. Right. So the fact, I, and I won't believe until I seen him walk by, because I still haven't seen Chief Keef walk by. by. You, you didn't did? see him. I just missed him. <laughs> yeah, all right, well, we appreciate you for coming. What are you wearing for people who want to know? This is a custom diamond two set, two piece from um, the Ivy Showroom. This was custom made. So now I know you guys were on tour for a little bit. How was that tour? Because I know there's been times when y'all guys fight like brothers and sisters. <laughs> and time when everything is cool. So how have y'all been? It's been amazing. The Millennium Tour was crazy. 14 different acts. I mean, you know, the energy was crazy. Shots out to Bow. Bow kicked everything off for us. It was a lot of different groups. Uh, Ying Yang Twins. Mm -hmm. It was wild. Now you're performing tonight as well. Yes. So what should the people tonight. expect from you tonight on that stage? A lot of energy, a lot of girl power, a lot of sassiness. Hey, we outside. ATL in the building. ATL in the building. We <laughs> appreciate you. I know you got to get inside. And thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, Envy. All right. You know she's going to turn up tonight. So all my ladies, get ready because she's going to be knucking and bucking. So get yourself together. Thank you so much. As I said, there's so much going on here. I seen Big Daddy Kane who stopped by for a second. There's so many people that stopped by. Hey, what's up, brother? How's everything? All good. Mecca, good to see you. Likewise, King. How you holding? So, of course, I'm doing great. 50th anniversary. Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Busta Rhymes. Yes. What's Busta your favorite Rhymes. Busta Rhymes? Uh, the, the project that a and on, the last one. <laughs> oh, the last one. The last album. Absolutely. Oh, and, but putting your hands on my can see? Yeah. Yeah. You must have a fever. Yeah, no, I a and r that album. That's, That's personally so, so, my joint. Okay, I get so it. So I'm biased. You're a little biased. I'm a lot biased. Now, people were talking about lyricists. Is Busta Rhymes the best lyricist in hip-hop? You've seen him change him flows to one, to two, to three, to four. He's, top, seen... he's top three all time. Top three. So who is your top three? I'm going to put the pressure on you now, Mecca. Nas, J, Big. Oh, that, that was Buster. That was, that Jay, was four. That was, that was three, four. That was four. Buster J, Nas. Buster J, Nas. Buster J, Nas. Buster J, Nas. Word to my shell toes, Buster J, Nas. Buster J, Nas. Okay. And who else are you looking forward to see tonight? Busta Rhymes. Him. That's him. <laughs> yeah, Most no. people are. My bias is huge, bro. Like, that dude, I don't think, gets the flowers he deserves. I think he's been holding it down for somebody to be that versatile, uh, switch lanes that many times, always stay authentic, get respect in every era, have a hit in every era, and be one of the most ducked artists in the history of verses. Yes, I think he deserves a lot more. So, really, that's all I'm looking forward to seeing him get. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see you inside. Appreciate you for stopping through. My expert opinion over everything. All right. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you, man. Again, as I said, we're backstage, I should say, on the red carpet. There's so much going on. It is the pre-show. I mean, it's, I've seen so many beautiful people walking by, and that's what it's about. It's, it's, it's black excellence. Hello. 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 Come, on, you, come on inside. Come on inside. I'm sorry. Love. This is the legend, yo, yo. I had to stop to the legend, yo. How does it feel? How, it feels amazing. Fifty years of hip hop. I, can you imagine? And you're it? part of that. And a I, huge part of it. Yes, I am. And I just first for my first time meeting Lotto. Felt so good. I loved her energy. I love her music. So I'm excited. Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? I am 
Looking forward to seeing Sugar Hill Game. I'm looking forward to seeing, oh goodness, who else is out there? I'm looking forward to seeing 50 Years of Hip Hop perform for the introductions to a lot of artists who have never seen them perform or seen, heard their music. Absolutely, you know, I was telling somebody the first 50 years was an introduction, was a growing. The next 50 years, I want to make sure the artists get the money that they deserve. Yes, without question. That's right. No uh, repeats. Now, if you had to say, when you got, did your deal and you did, did you get the money that you deserve? Well, hell no. Not at all. Hell no. Damn. Hell no. But you know what? Um, with no regrets, I think what I got, money could have never uh, given. I mean, I, you know, I got more than money could have given me. Right. Um, the experience that I was able to uh, have. I mean, money couldn't buy that. All right. Well, you have a cooking show. Tell them about the cooking yeah, show right there. Downright fast. Delicious with Yo-Yo. Yes, Downright Delicious. I am in the kitchen whipping up some dishes on Aspire TV every Tuesday, 8 p.m. My new happy place, and I feel good doing it. All right. Well, don't play with the Yo-Yo right there. Don't play with my Yo-Yo. And right. watch me perform tonight. We're going to tear the roof off this mother sucker. That is right. Thank you so much, Yo-Yo. I love you. Love you. Thank you, Ma. All right. All right, as I say, there's so many people walking in. We see Yo-Yo, we got Brian Recruiter. What's up, brother? Hey, how you doing? How's how you everything, doing? man? Good to see you. Doing great, doing great. Now, let's talk about it now. There's so much going on. Yes. Who are you looking forward to see tonight? Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing a ton of artists. Obviously, Buster, honoring him. All the different regions. I'm from the Bay, so E-40 has got to make that list as well. Yep. Uh, and then just all the different regions, T.I., Jeezy. I don't want to name too many because there's some surprises. There's a lot of surprises. And yeah. I forget who's a surprise and who's not a surprise. I think you might have named one or two, but it's all ah, good. It's all, it's all good. Damn. You'll get in trouble. You blame it on him right, too, right. not me, not me. <laughs> now, this is it's always good to see black excellence like this. There's so many people coming together. Absolutely. What makes the BET Awards so special for people, you think? I mean, I think how we say it. It's culture's biggest night. It's the one night per year where everybody convenes on Los Angeles. We celebrate hip hop, we celebrate culture, we celebrate music, we celebrate soul and R&B and everything, and just have a lovely time. And of course, you gotta mention The Breakfast Club on BET. How can we get that? Absolutely, look, I was really excited when The Breakfast Club came on BET. Such a natural pairing and everything. I mean, I'd grown up listening to your mixtapes and all that. And so the opportunity to take something that resonates with our viewers so much and then have that on our show, every uh, on our air every morning, can't miss opportunity. Well, get inside. I know you got to get Absolutely. inside. I appreciate you, brother. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. As you see, there's a lot going on. We're talking to so many different people. I can't even grab anybody. Where, where, where's Kane? I know. I think they're grabbing Kane first. What's up, brother? Where's Kane? Oh, I don't see Kane. Come on. Come on in. What's up, bro? How's it going? Good to see you. I'm doing great, man. BET Awards tonight. Yes, sir. Who are you looking forward to see? Man, Buster for sure. Buster for sure. Yes, sir. What's your favorite Buster Rhymes record? Uh, you know, look at me now. I'm 15, so you know. Yeah. So look at me now. Yeah. Can you do the words to look at me now? No, I can't do it. <laughs> no, I've been trying, it? though. <laughs> now, who else are you looking forward to see tonight? Uh, Coco Jones. I think uh, Patti LaBelle is doing. Yeah, so I want to see them for sure. And what does hip-hop mean to you? I know you're only 15 years old, but what does it mean to you being a 15-year-old young man? I mean, everything. You know, it influences us in so many ways, and I'm just appreciative of it. So sure. everything at all? Yeah. The way you walk, the way you talk, the yeah, way you drive, everything. the way you dress. Everything. And that's what we're talking about. For real. Well, I know you got to get inside. I appreciate sure. you for stopping through. And, Thank you. and good seeing you, brother. Yes, sir. Appreciate right, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, we're talking to so many people. We're talking. Peace, y'all. See y'all later. All right, brother. There's so much going on. I'm tired. I'm going to need a towel in a little bit, a water, a monster, energy, something. What's up, Hey, Daddy? Natalie. Now, how you doing? How's it doing? Are you good? See, what's up, brother? What's up, How's it going, man? Yes. Now, how are you guys, step, just take one step in. Now, how are you guys feeling? Good. Celebrating 50 years of the culture. That's right. Hip hop. Now, who do you want to see tonight? Just coming this way a little bit so we can get you in as well. I want, I want, to, see, uh, I want to see DJ Envy, uh, you know, get up there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, that DJ Envy. What happen. you got? <laughs> no, that, 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 no. Who do you want to see tonight? I really want to see Ice Spice. I okay. want to see her do her thing. Um, you know, she's a baddie. And, um, you know, that's just what it is. I want to see her do her big one. All right, now. Y'all had a fight a couple of weekends ago. Hey, man, listen. I, I, listen hey, I'm, I'm just, I was talking about Floyd Mayweather. I was oh, talking listen, about the Jocelyn. He thought I was talking about the Jocelyn fight. I was talking about Floyd Mayweather, see? I, I'm just the CEO of the network. I just, you know, I don't I don't plan for this stuff to happen. This is just... I was talking happens. about the Floyd Mayweather. Oh, see, he's, oh, talking, he's telling oh, himself, listen. I said Floyd Mayweather three times. So, so how did you and Floyd get together to, to, to do that fight? Because a lot of people um, said, it's, you know, Floyd... Usually yeah. does on other networks, but the yeah. fact that he did it on your network, what yeah, did it mean yeah. to you, and how did y'all get that together? Yeah, and, uh, you know, Floyd had uh, his team reached out, and uh, they wanted to work with the Black-owned network. And uh, you know, we had a great meeting. He wanted to do more exhibitions, and so you know, we we presented some cr really cool opportunities, and uh, it's been going up. We've we've done two already: one in London, one in Miami. I know the one in 
Miami, like you were saying, was crazy. We didn't expect that. It wasn't planned. It wasn't scripted. It was a lot going on backstage, even with Jocelyn, which you guys just had on your network. That's right. So, now, you know, we had to get Natalie on there, you know. But, but so last yeah, question. Crazy. There was rumor that Floyd got a, a percentage of the network. Is that true? Listen, <laughs> uh, listen, I, I love Floyd You're looking Mayweather. down. You ain't looking up. Look at me. Look yeah. at my eyes. <laughs> Look, man, all I'm saying is we love Floyd. We have a great partnership with the, with the project that we work on together. And we are talking about, you know, ways to expand that relationship. So I'll take that as a yes. We're looking at ways to expand the okay. relationship. All right. But I can't promise, you know, I, I can't say he owns the network right now, but we are talking. We are talking. Okay. Well, I, I'm the owner of the network. All right. But well, I appreciate you guys. Hold on. We got to talk about baddies, baddies. Baddies. Well, tell them quick. Cause Hello, we DJ go Envy. You know already now the baddies are about to take over New York City. Okay. We're coming to the East Coast, so be ready for the bad girls. Because here we come, Zeus Network. And you know, I know what it is. All right, Natalie Nunn, <laughs> Zeus Network. We appreciate yes, you guys. Thank you so much for joining Basically Inside. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Tigger! Now I'm, I'm looking for my brother, Tigger. Tigger! Tigger! I'm looking for Tigger. Now, Tigger is one of those guys that does a lot of those crazy things in the ocean, right? <laughs> So when I seen the submarine go down, I was going to call Tigger because Tigger does those type of things. Facts. Now, <laughs> e explain how dangerous it is because you scuba dive, you go deep into the ocean, how dangerous it is if you don't have, because a lot of people just think, oh, I can just scuba dive, oh, I can just do that. No. Explain how dangerous it is because I really thought of you because really Tigger does all that wild ish that you see. <laughs> he does that. Like, he does that. So, uh, first of all, uh, my condolences out to those families who were lost, but um, it's, it all has to do with pressure and timing. You can't go down too fast. You can't come up too fast because there's a lot of pressure and things. So if they went down too fast or something was wrong with one of the seals, that's how it happens. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's really sad to see what happened to them. But I love being in the water, bro. I know, I know you do. I scuba dive all the time. Now, mm -hmm. before that happened, would you think about doing something like that? I ain't got 250K for <laughs> See, but if you did, I was like, that's something I would, Tigger would do. It would be something I would be interested See, I, I in I only it. because... You know how far down it was, mm -hmm. you know, it's nostalgic to a certain point. And then you, I, I enjoy being underwater and seeing things that most people don't see. But I ain't got a quarter milli for it, bro. Not, not for that. Not for that. <laughs> now, question before you go. Busta Rhymes is performing tonight. Yes. All right. Now, we've all did amazing with hip hop. We have our jobs from hip hop. What does hip hop mean to you? And what is your favorite Busta Rhymes song? Hip hop is the love of my life. The love of my life. Mm -hmm. The reason this is all here. It's because of hip hop. The reason me and you are standing here. Absolutely. It's hip hop. Um, for Busta, I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm appreciative. Uh, he's been, you know, since LONS all the way to now, he's been an icon. His lyrical abilities unmatched, uh, his stage presence unmatched. And, I mean, he's the Dungeon Dragon, so I'm really happy for him. That's right. Well, Tigger, who's an icon and, and, and OG when it comes to BET, we appreciate you. Now you got to get inside. Just want to say thank you, and I love you, brother. Love Always my brother. Y'all follow him and me. That's right. <laughs> so much going on. So who else are we grabbing? So, so much going on. Uh, they said Warren G, the OG Warren G, is coming in. What's up, brother? What's up with you? How's How everything? You good? Good to I'm see good. you. Yes, we have the OG, the icon, the legend Warren G. How, how are you feeling, brother? I'm good, man. Just, uh, you know, feeling good, happy to be here to celebrate with everybody with the 50 years of hip hop and just, you know, just being a contributor, mm -hmm. you know, just it's, it feels good, man. And, and can't wait to see everybody. I love everybody. That's here. right. What does hip hop you know? mean to you? Hip hop 50, is everything, 50 years, man. man. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just a way of expression. Uh, it's a way of life. Uh, you know, and, and it's a way that, that, you know, before people couldn't relate because we didn't have hip hop. So now that we have hip hop, people can relate better because it's more of a conversation. Right. So it's easier for people to understand the way we do it. And now, that's hip hop. Now you're a nominee yeah. tonight. How does it feel that your record that you've released, what, 25 plus years ago, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. still, it resonates now? How does that feel? Because uh, a lot of times you get records and they die, but your record yeah. is still one of those records. Yeah. It feels good just to, you know, just to know that people love what I did. And, you know, I've always tried to, to be different, uh, not do the same thing that everybody else is doing. I just, and, and that record was different. So, you know, and people can relate to it and feel good to it and, and just, you know, dig the story that's, that, that, that's in it. Absolutely. You know? well, we, I know you got to get inside. We appreciate you. Much Look love. forward to seeing you later. Yeah, much Ladies love, Ladies and gentlemen, man. Warren G., For thank sure. you so much, brother. All right, thank buddy. you so much. All right. And that's what it's all about, seeing legends, seeing icons, 
seeing people from our borough of Queens. I've seen people from the other borough of Bronx, what we don't talk about over there. But uh, there's so much going on. And again, you could hashtag. Oh, man, I'm coming over with you, Queens in the house. Nominee and performer. How's My it brother, feel, brother? How you, man? I'm good, man. How so let's, you? let's talk about yeah. 50 years of hip hop. Yeah. Being from Queens, we've, we've got a chance to see so many greats. From Run DMC to LL Cool J to, we can go Mike Geronimo and the yeah, Royal yeah, Flush yeah, yeah, yourself. Yeah. So what There's does it mean to you? Something in the water in New York and Queens, mm -hmm. man. What does it mean to you? Hip hop? Yeah. Everything, man. I mean, like, you know, I, I think about where I would be without hip hop. Yeah. That, that, you know, people always say, you know, what does it mean to you? You know, that. And for me, it, it, it was, it's life or, 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 or death. It's like it was hip hop or, or nothing. And so it, it's, it means everything to me, man. It saved my life. It saved my, my, my family's lineage. Mm -hmm. And so thank, thank God for hip hop. Now, who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? I know you're performing, but besides you. Um, everybody, man. This is a dope blend. You know, you got old school, you got new school. So I want to see, you know, I seen Big Daddy Kane early on, I on the carpet. Kane I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to see Kane do his thing. Um, um, also, I seen Luke. I seen uh, Red. I seen, I seen a bunch of dudes that I want to see perform. But then I also seen some of the young young cats out here. I seen Ice Spice. Yep. I seen uh, Koi. I want to see her do her thing. So I'm, I'm, this is gonna be a good night. Man. All right. Well, Ja Rule yeah. is performing tonight, and we appreciate yeah, you. My and brother. thank you so much, brother. Always good to see you. Always good to see you. You shining. You know. For real though. So we're taking a picture. This is Let's Queens. We're backstage, Queens, you see. We're spice and, it up, put some and you can hashtag BET Awards or yeah. hashtag Coach's Biggest Night. And I'm working here, but I'm still yeah. taking pictures. I appreciate you guys. Night. Thank you, brother. Me, my brother. Keep Thank you so much. Doing. Thank no, I got this. Thank you. How are you? Yes, sir. All right, y'all. All right, brother. Oh, man. You see, they got me doing work. In... All right, so now the, the next brother. Got the brother Peasy. What's up, bro? What's up brother? How's it What's going? What's going on, bro? Congratulations, you're nominated Appreciate you. tonight. Appreciate you, So bro. crazy that we never met, man. What's up? What's up, bro? Miles? We got guys and pieces. It's crazy mm -hmm. that we haven't met. So, yeah. so tell the people who don't know you where you from and, and where you rep and all that. Detroit, Michigan. Uh, east side of Detroit, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, yeah, when yeah. you did that record, did you ever think that record was going to explode the way that it exploded? Honestly, I didn't, bro. I can't even be fake. I did not think it was going to do that. I didn't know it was going to do so that. So tell us the mind frame of doing that record, because the record became a number one record. I just like to be real, real, real. I like to beat a lot, and I just was having fun. I ain't had no direction, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted the video to come to life. The song was fun, but I wanted the video to be based around the song. So I, I executed the video, but the song was just fun to me. Now, I had fun with the song. Now, guys, you know, what made you say, you know what, this is the artist for me? And, and how do you have the mind frame to pick artists? Because a lot of people follow records, chase records. You don't necessarily chase records, you chase an artist. So let's talk the mind frame of that. I mean, a lot of people don't know we've been tapped in for seven years. Mm -hmm. So this is not an overnight success. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we was riding before he went to prison. He sat down for a minute. We was riding through that. He got out. I jumped in the car, picked him up straight from Toledo, and we went straight back to work. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last two years has just been a building process. And so, you know, now it gets to a point where it's like critical mass and everybody thinks it's an overnight success. But this man been grinding forever. His mm -hmm. work ethic is unbelievable. The music is unbelievable. You know, a lot of people got to start digging into his catalog to really understand what type of artist he is. Now tonight, Buster Rhymes is getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. What is your favorite Buster record? And Gazi, what is yours? I like that. Don't this hit make my people want to jump, jump? Jump. Okay. Jump. All right. Yeah. All right. I like the energy on that. I honestly have to agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I also, I also really like the record that he did with Mariah Carey. Yes. The baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. That shit was hard. Not, not put your hands on my eyes, can see. I ain't man, I, I, I mean, I ain't that video when everything is just that. that You're making it difficult. I mean, then we can go back to old records where he was collabing with people like the Scenario and things like that. Yeah. But you know, Buster, Buster, he's, he's meant a lot for the culture. I mean, the fact that he's a lyricist, he's a creator, he steps outside the box. You don't see that too much. Quite possibly the greatest yeah. entertainer of our generation. I think he is. I think he is. Well, I appreciate you guys. I, I know you appreciate get you, brother. Thank guys, you, Guys, peace. Appreciate you so much. All right. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. All righty now. All right, as we get into the artist now, I got uh, Key Glock coming up. Key Glock, what's up, brother? What's up, guys? How's everything? Good. How about you? Good, good, good. Straight so up. now, BT Awards tonight. Who are you looking forward to see? Uh, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I don't even know who I'll perform. Okay. We well, you you know got Buster Rhymes getting Lifetime Achievement Award, of For course. Sure. Right. We'll see that. For sure. Now, you For said sure. something on, on social media the other day that outer space is the ocean. Right. Explain that. I can't do it. You can't explain it? I can explain it, but I don't want to explain it on camera. Yeah, is it one of those <laughs> things where it's just like, we don't know what's up there and we don't know what's down there? Kinda. 
Canada. More than, yeah, is, that, Canada. is that what it is? Crack. What's up, my brother? What's up? We don't know what's going on down what's there. Up, <laughs> set up, Joe? Nah, nah. <laughs> the ocean is the new outer space. Straight up. <laughs> it is. Yeah, you know Straight these guys up. who died. They they were explorers like Christopher Columbus and all that. Mm -hmm. So you know it was a guy who invented the plane one time and mm -hmm. it, and and it looked crazy when the plane was, you know, they was trying to discover something new. Man, would Joe ever get on that? Would, that, Joe, would Joe ever no, do guys, that? Guys, oh, hell no. I don't do none of that. So who are you looking forward to seeing? That, no disrespect, we call that like white people. Uh, uh, Stuff. Stuff. Yeah, Absolutely. Coming out of planes and shit, going to Straight Mars, up. this. Yeah, we ain't, ain't doing, doing all none that. Of that. None of that at all. You crazy? Yo, you looking sharp. I'm, I'm trying. So we got to talk. Who you want to see tonight? Busta Rhymes. What does Busta Rhymes mean to hip hop? Ooh. He's been one of the most consistent forces in hip hop who embraces everyone in hip hop for years and years and years. And, um, it's just a beautiful sight to see and a beautiful person to see. Whenever you see Busta Rhymes, you just feel good, man. And um, he's my brother. So, you know, I'll tell you a quick thing. I was doing like a little Q&A at the Apollo, so I asked all the photographers, yo, let me get some pictures over the last 30 years I've been rapping. Busta Rhymes was in 90% of the pictures. Wow. So I'm talking about when I had hair, you know, <laughs> you know, my whole life, you know, I've been side by side with Busta, so I'm so, proud for him and, and I'm happy for him and I'm happy to see him win. You know, most people don't know, I, I tell a story all the time, I bought my first house because of Busta. When I was a young kid, like 21, 22, I didn't have no credit. Busta knew a guy that could get me a house without having credit. Now, interest rates was 23%, but, That's real. That's but real. <laughs> he got me in. So I always appreciate Busta, they got me in. You know, I got DJ SNS's first truck. Yeah. You know, SNS, he always wear the mustard stain on his shirt like he eating a hot dog. Right, right. He got no credit. I took him to Martin, Martin Cadillac in Jersey, and I got him a truck. I got, I did that for a lot of people. Yo, guys, hey, Empire Music. So, now, Yo, this the conglomerate. Yes, no, we just the dynasty. Yeah. We, the, <laughs> Yeah. Yo, guys, what's up, man? Some amazing That's my things brother. I love guys. We got to ask you one question, Joe. Yes. You was on uh, NBA Draft. Grady Dick from Kansas. <laughs> 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 Yo, Grady Senior, Grady Dick from Kansas. Okay, okay. all right. Just, just he shoots a hell of a three-pointer. Okay, Yo, right, Evan, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Joe, ladies and gentlemen. What else, what up, brother? Yeah, Good yeah. to see you. How's everything, brother? Yeah. Key Glock, appreciate you. Yo, appreciate you. Oh uh, man, as I say, so many people yeah. are walking through. We appreciate you, and thank you everything for you know for giving me them cars for the cars. Oh, so I appreciate it. We going to Atlanta too. Oh, I, love. I know you got to get inside, so we Straight appreciate up. you and send right. send a love to the fam. We're good. All right, again, hashtag BET awards and also hashtag Coach's Biggest Nights. As you see, there's a lot going on. There's so many people stopping through. We have another young lady coming up. Come on up. Hello. How are you doing? Hey, Chris and Renee, how are you doing? That's everything. Amazing. Happy to be here. So now we got to talk about tonight. Let's talk about it. Who are you here to see? Who do you want to see tonight? I'm here to see Busta. Busta. Listen, Everybody's here to see Busta. I'm telling you. What's like, your favorite Busta record? Listen, um, where your hands up? Put your hands where my eyes can see. Yes. That, that's your favorite. Yes. Now, what does hip hop mean to you? Hip hop is everything. I grew up watching BET, now I'm a part of the BET family. Um, it's funny because my dad used to always be like, you don't even listen to all that, and now I'm on the network, yes, and yes, now yes, he's yes. laughing about it. But for me, it's everything. Nothing thrives without hip hop, mm -hmm. and that's how I feel. Like, everything is alive because of hip hop in our that's culture. That's right. Yep. Well, tonight, I know it's a lot going on. I know you got to get inside. Yes. And it's carpet. And how is walking through the red carpet and seeing people that you haven't seen in a long it's time? It's been a minute. Everybody? It's like everything. a big family reunion, it right? It is. Like, every time I turn around, I was like, hey. So it's been amazing. Now, let's talk about the show for Tima. Yes. Now, talk about so for somebody that's Natina that that nobody has ever seen. If they haven't seen it, break down the show on the TV. Yes, is about. okay. So the show starts me and your boy Deval Ellis. Um, Why you say what's about my boy? Because you that's, 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 that's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Um, and we are like the relationship that everybody thinks that they want. But this season, we are showing the trauma, digging deep, going through therapy, and showing the downside, because I think everybody likes to see the happy relationships. And the name of the show is Zatima. Zatima, right. yeah, they I'm Fatima. They said Nutima in there. They said your name is Fatima, and I'm like, Nutima, but Zatima. Okay. Zatima, yes. And um, this season, we are showing like our, our troubles, our triggers, and traumas, and just unpacking a lot of things. But to show people that you can have relationships that thrive, even when you're going through a down season. Now, how so. difficult is it to get in the character and out of character when you're 
acting? It's funny. Somebody just asked me that what's the hardest thing about acting. For me, it's coming out of character. Getting into Fatima is easy. Coming out of her, especially during dark seasons when we're having to dig deep and go to dark places, that's harder for me to come out of. Now, how does your family relate when you come home and you wilding on them? <laughs> Listen, my boyfriend definitely was like, yo, I feel like you're two different people. I said, I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. Leave me alone. <laughs> yes. Well, we appreciate you for stopping by. Thank and, you. And good luck with everything. Thank and you so can't much. Can't wait to see you on The Breakfast Club. Yes, I can't wait. Thank right. you. Thank you. Come I on up. Thank you so much. All right. We have more people to talk to. We have more people to talk to. Of course, we're talking to athletes. We're talking to rappers. We're talking to actors. Flage. Hello, DJ Flage. And you're my love. How you doing? I'm doing good. How's it going? I'm good. You look sharp. Well, thank you. You know, trying to be a little fly. That's all. I feel you. How you feeling? It's your first BT Awards? Yeah, it's crazy. How's it feeling? I feel amazing. From LSU man. to here? To the carpet. I, I, feel like, I feel like Big Four today. All right. We got a lot of people watching. What's up? So, I mean, I mean, it's only right. Just give me a little 16 for right past. Why are you trying to I put mean, me it's on only spot right. like that? I mean, LSU, basketball player, world champion, you know, just, just a couple thousand people watching, you know? Let me see. Right there, right there. Why you say talk it ain't last a week, but you liking my story? You gassing me. Are you gonna rap or be an athlete? If I'm still doing both, why you asking me? Real rich when I shop, I need cash receipts. Wake up and ball, get the cash repeat. City yo, like I been had the key. You can't pay for the feature, don't ask the fee. Do it, I run it up. Feel like the renegade. I got a Puma deal. I don't get in the J's. I had to mix up the sprite with the lemonade. You try me, they come and I send the gang. I'm not an amateur, know me in Canada. I put on drip. Bring out the camera, red carpet. I'm lit, man. I'm flammable. I keep eating these rappers. I'm cannibal, yeah. Woo! See, this is why I don't like what she did. When I said rap, she was like, <sighs> she had that ready, ready for Big four freestyle, I know, man. Well, we appreciate you for stopping through, and good luck with everything. And I, I love you, love your family, love your moms, and good luck with everything. All right. More people to talk to. Thank you. thank you so much. Watch your step. Oh, all right. Hello, how are you doing? How's it going? Love, love, love. How are you doing? Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? I'm actually looking forward to see Buster Rhyme, Cut the Ranks. What's your favorite Buster record? Um, it's too many. If you want to see me go down, boop, and you want to see me shock, oop, that's how I know it. That's how I do it, <laughs> right. yeah. And of course, I'm here to do my thing for BET. That's right. Yeah. So we, we want to say thank you. Now, I, I wanted to know, out of all the BET Awards show, what was your favorite performance? Some people said Michael Jackson. Some people said... Busta Rhymes, some people said Diddy, who was your favorite performer? It was Beyonce, in that silver outfit yes. when she was performing alone without um, a whole bunch of people. She just had that silver thing on and she was classy and sexy. I love that. That's the memorable one for me. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you so much. I know you got to get inside and we're grabbing people as they come up. We appreciate you. Thank, thank you. you so much. All right now. Thank yeah. you so much. Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot going on. And like I said, the BET Awards, we want to hear from you. Okay. Um, hashtag BET Awards or hashtag Coach's Biggest Nights. Hey, how are you doing? How is everything? Good. Good Give me a hug. You. Give me some love. Mm. How's it going? Good, good, good. Love and hip hop. Yeah, uh huh? <laughs> Carla, you still want to do love and hip hop? You still doing love and hip hop? Tell us about it. Yeah, we're on MTV now, though. You know what I mean? We're mm -hmm. not. I'm gonna miss VH1, you know, BT, but we're on MTV now. So you're and we're trending, of course. You're a vet when it comes to love and hip hop. So what yeah. changes now for and you? Sister Center's been on that for seven years. Okay. So what changes for you now? Um, what changes for me now is more businesses growing you know no you more guys, fighting no you know what i'm just asking you said more business i want to make sure evolution go ahead. absolutely four restaurants in the game now um you know growing growing as a human being mm -hmm. Now tonight, of course, is the BET or Hip Hop Award, BET Awards. Who are you looking forward to seeing? Busta. I want to see Busta come on stage. Everybody wants to see Busta. What's your is favorite Busta record? Yeah, absolutely. Oh gosh, I got so many. Just I got one. so many. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm a clown right now. So. <laughs> Look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me now with Chris Brown. Okay, that's right. Now, now, and what are you wearing? Because people want to know. What are you wearing? Oh my gosh! Isn't it so? It's a custom. Isn't it pretty? It looks like feathers, like metal feathers. Don't play with me. No, that's what it looks like. It looks feathers. This you know is what? why. And it's I expensive. Didn't say, what's it? I'm just and it's look expensive. Look it Don't does. Play with me. I did. I just, you know what? <laughs> See, she's about to get back in that love no, hip hop bag and start fighting me. I was not. You're about to flip a table and hurt me now. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I'm no, just you're messing you're with you. You're my brother. You're my brother. Well, I know you got to go inside. We appreciate yep. you for stopping through. Good luck with everything. We're going to be looking forward to watching you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So, so like I said, we're talking to everybody today as the awards are picking up. Usually I got a little more time to grab people, but this time I don't. And I got the homie Finesse two time. What's up, bro? How's it going? I'm good. I'm blessed. Is this your first BET Awards? First. How does that feel? It's perfect. Like, it feels good. It's still surreal. Yeah? Yeah, it's surreal, but I'm here for it. Now, who do you look forward to seeing tonight? 
I want to see 50 Cent, man, but. 50 ain't going to be here. You I heard. Said, I, I already know. Like, like, but I've been telling everybody, like, man, 50 ain't going to be here tonight. Like, 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 but Glow, for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, this city, this Memphis. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I heard Buster was getting a Lifetime Achievement That's Award. That's right. Got to see that. I'm ready to hear the speech. Mm -hmm. I wanted a speech. I'm good on, I'm, I'm big on growth right now. Mm -hmm. So with him doing this so long, I want to hear what he got to say. Like, what can I learn out of his speech? I'm mm -hmm. sure he got something amazing to say. This bus. Now, what's what's next for you? I see every time there's a show and you're performing and something happens, they always blame it on you. Right, right, right. Now, when they get to the point where it says, it's not me, because I'm, I'm getting my money before right, I right, leave right. I just feel like um, as, a, as, a, as a culture, as a hip-hop culture, we all should make a big... Uh, uh, um, like make it a big thing to make sure we all protected at right. these events, at these venues and everything. Like I don't think it's just me. Other people that went through the same thing too. You Absolutely. Know, they went through it and you know what I'm saying? They learned the ropes and they got it. Like now, I'm getting it. Now you're performing tonight, so what should the people expect from you tonight on that stage? You got back in, you know what's going on. Man. Mm. I got the shine. Man. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Effort. I appreciate <laughs> you, brother. Appreciate you. Look forward you. to seeing you inside. Yes, sir. All right, yes, sir. absolutely. Got you. Thank you, brother. So much going on. Now we have uh we got more people coming in and we're talking to so many different people. Hey, hello, hello, how are you doing? I'm good. How's everything with you? Everything's been great. Now, how was your BET experience so far? We have that girl, Lele, by the way. Hey, uh, the BET experience has been amazing. I'm seeing so many stars. Everybody looks gorgeous and amazing. Now, a lot of people performing tonight. Yes. Who are you looking forward to seeing and watching? I think I'm ready to see my girl, Ice Spice. Ice Spice. Yep, she's What's young. your favorite Ice Spice record? Um, and her mood. And her mood. Okay, mm -hmm. I was hoping it wasn't a munch. I'd be like, it better not be munch. Yeah, it better not be. It's not. It's not. It's not that at okay, all. Good. No, that's not on my playlist. Good. Mm -hmm. Just make it sure. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Just make it sure. I know your daddy back there. You know, you get in big trouble back there. Just make it sure. <laughs> now, besides that, what, what else? Who else are you looking to see tonight? Uh, I'm really looking forward to see everybody. This is, I think, my first time here at the BET Awards. Um, first time here, I'm nominated, so that's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm really just thankful to be here. Yes. Yeah. And what? Do you, how has the weekend been? Because it's been a whole bunch of weekend of so many parties and celebrations you know and what? all types of things. I haven't even come to any of the weekend activities. I just got here this morning. I had a show in New York yesterday at the Coney Island. Yes. In Brooklyn, so I haven't. So you in and out. Yeah. Okay. I'm in and out. In well, and I, know out gotta, I know you got to enjoy yourself, so go on inside. Thank you. And hopefully you enjoy your first BET experience. A Thank lot you to see, so a lot much. to do. Enjoy it, take it all in, and congratulations on everything that Thank you're doing you. out there. Bye all right. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so much going on. So like I said, it's 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 a lot happening. It's it's not even a red carpet, it's the pre carpet. I see Jason Lee over there in the corner. Uh, what's up, bro? Uh, What's going on, brother? How you doing, How's family? everything? This is Mad Lion. Come over here, Mad Lion. Yes, sir. How's it going? I'm chilling like a villain, man. You performing tonight? Yes, I'm performing tonight. So what should the people be able to get from you tonight? Uh, educational journey and trip. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We're going to show you what reggae did for the hip-hop culture. This is 58 years of reggae music that gave birth to hip-hop that is now 50. For all don't know. You understand? So we're going to show the culture with the culture need. And who you look forward to seeing tonight? I look forward to seeing the whole conglomerate because this is one of the first times you actually see in these time and ages all of us as foundation artists, you know what I'm saying, on one big stage, you know what I mean, working in unison and educating the rest of the world, you know what I mean? And for all the young talent that's out there, they're gonna see it, you know what I mean, and build more synergy inside of hip hop. Would you say you you help open up the door for hip hop and reggae for some of the, the music that you created early on? I would like to say that. Actually, I'm saying that. I'm mm -hmm. the king of hip hop reggae, you heard? Mm -hmm. And um, you know, bridging that gap between it actually really just made way for all the skilly bangs, them, the skangs that the man them way I done the place now, you see me? Like that. So yeah. Absolutely. I know you got to get inside. You're about gotta to perform. Turn that stage up. No, and I appreciate respect, you. Praise, Love, man. DT. Yes. That's Mad Lion. I, OG icon when it comes to the hip-hop and reggae, man. A lot going on. Talking to a lot. This is the, the red carpet. And now I, I'm seeing Uncle Luke coming up. My friend, oh, oh, you so what's up, huh? How's it going, man? You're looking great, man. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm, you know, right. try a little, little spiffy, that's exactly. all. Exactly. How's it feel, man? 50 years great. of hip-hop. 50 years of hip-hop. Can, can you imagine that? 50. Wow. 
And we made it. We made it. We're here to see it. That's right. And that's, hey, that's, that's God blessing. Do you think about the impact that you've had on hip hop? Because, you know, there's a lot of artists that had impact, but not just as an art form, what you did for hip hop, right? And I was either watching an NWA movie, of course, it was on BET earlier, mm -hmm. and I seen what they did, and I'm like, damn, Uncle Luke did the same thing. Do you ever think back and say, hey, if it wasn't for the fight that I put on, we don't know where hip hop would be right now? Yeah, I always think about it. I mean, to be honest with you, because, you know, when I was going to Supreme Court for free speech, the mm -hmm. priority case, and then when my record got banned, you know, I know that was a fight against hip hop at that moment because it was going into white kids' households and everything like that. And if I did not fight to uh, get the, you know, get the, the uh, get the uh, case overturned, then I know it would set precedent. And before you know it, nobody could be singing the things that they're singing right now today. What made you continue to fight? Because back then, you know, obviously they were trying to, to dry you out of money, to keep yes, putting you in yes, course, yes, yes. And, and, and to make it so that you couldn't succeed, but you kept fighting. You could have changed your lyrics. You could have yeah. did with different routes, but you decided to fight. What gave you said, nah, I'm gonna keep fighting? Well, I mean, the thing is, I looked at it. I look, I'm always looking at the big picture. And the big picture said that if I do not take on this fight, then mm -hmm. what will end up happening is, you know, kids won't be able to do what they're doing right now on the record. I mean, I was taught by my uncle and my, my uh, dad, you know, and they kept me into historical black books and they say everything goes full circle and at some point in your life, you're gonna have to stand up and be a man, you know, for whatever you are uh, involved in. And, you know, unfortunately I'm in the hip hop business and I know at some point I was gonna have to take on that fight. All right, and who are you looking forward to see tonight? Man, I'm looking forward to seeing Buster Rhymes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's my dude, I love him, I mean, you know, he uh, half Jamaican, I'm half Jamaican, so you know I love what he do, and, I, and I'm just happy that they're honoring him right now because you know this dude is an icon. He's an icon, major. Last question: You yell on your records? Yes, I do. How do you sit up there for 20, 30 minutes, 45 minutes yelling? <laughs> As a DJ yelling, I'm like, oh, how do you yell for 45 minutes on your records? Because I was a DJ. <laughs> I started out as a DJ, mm -hmm. screaming over the microphone mm -hmm. in Miami, you know, and uh, you know, I, it, it's you know. You, you gotta have you gotta have long breath. Put that put it that way. Right. You gotta have some stamina. So you know I got some of that. You know it's it's, it's a good thing. I know you gotta go inside yes, your performance. Sir. Appreciate you, Unc. No, thank no you for doubt, everything man. that you're doing for hip hop. Love, thank love you, brother. That you're doing. Thank you, brother. All right. And we gotta get you on the Breakfast Club, man. Yes, Anytime sir. you gotta come, you, you haven't been in yet. It's All right. All right. So we're talking to everybody now. I got my brother Jay to kiss. What's up, kiss? Hey, what's up, man? Looks spiffy. You got that. You. Woo! Yeah, you know this is You're crushing them, baby. Yeah, yeah. So how's it going? How's it feel? It feel good. Um, you know, first time I got my dad and my son with me. Mm -hmm. We promoting the Kiss Cafe coffee. Mm -hmm. And um, 50 years of hip hop. I look forward to seeing a great show, some good energy, catching up with some of my colleagues I ain't seen in a few years, mm -hmm. few months. Uh, just getting that love that the other award shows get that we deserve. All right. So when we talk 50 years of hip hop, I mean, you've been through the gamut from you know, streets to the mixtapes to Bad Boy to working with Mace and, and Puff and Big to working with so many different artists. So talk how hip hop has influenced you so much and what it means to you. Um, hip hop means the world to me. It means everything to me. Um, from a little kid hearing it and seeing it and it becoming a dream of mine that being able to turn it into a career, put my kids through college, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, buy my parents a home. And, and live life a little bit comfortably than expected. I, I love hip hop. Now I gotta ask your dad a question. So when, when your son came home rapping, right? And, and you and my dad is about the same age. <laughs> when, I, when they first came in, did you think, nah, this is, I'm gonna let them, let them go because this is just gonna be a hobby. It's not gonna be that long. Or did you know that it's something that's gonna be continue on? Because I, I think my dad probably was like, all right, whatever's gonna keep him out the streets, he could DJ all day long. What did you think of hip hop when you first started hearing it? I told him, go in your room, close your door, because I don't want to hear that. <laughs> but uh, but uh, he shows you how wrong I was 30 years uh, mm -hmm. later. But, you know, but he, you know, looking back and not knowing where he was gonna end up, he has the tenacity and the dedication to do pretty much anything he wants to do. So when he grabbed onto it, it's something that he stuck with. He's still continuing to hone his skills, and I think that if he still has the dedication, 10 years from now that he has now, he'll still be successful. So. Now before you get up out of here, tell me about the cafe. You have a cafe now. Kiss Cafe. Kiss Cafe Three Coffee. Three generations right here. Three generations. We're online. You can get us at kisscafecoffee.com, Kiss Cafe Coffee on Instagram. 
and Facebook, Twitter as well. All right, I know you got to go inside. I appreciate you, brother. You know thank what you so it is, much. E? Love. All right, so we're here. BET Awards, I got it. Red carpet, we're talking to so many different people. Jada Kiss, his dad, his son. There's so much going on, so many people to talk to. And like I said, we want to hear from you in a little bit. You can hashtag coaches. Yeah, that's true. The coaches, oh. like I said before, it don't matter. Exactly. Now, this, this is amazing. This is, this is amazing. Uh, Redman. What's up, brother? Keith Murray. What up, what up, what up? E Sermon. How's it feel? Now, now Hip Hop 50, let's talk about it. What does hip hop mean to you? Let's start with you. I, I think I think that at the end of the day it's like this, man. Russell Simmons and Don Cornelius said that no, Don told Russell it was gonna end in nineteen seventy nine. It's gonna be a fad. It's twenty twenty three now. So to show you proof that fifty years Russell knew it was gonna be like this. Reggie knew it too. I didn't know it was gonna be this long though, envy though, but again I'm it's, it's exciting to be here fifty years from now, from from eighty eight. It's, it's my thirty fifth year. Wow. Keith? Well, I'm just loving it, man. Happy to be here, be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Rep hip hop, take it further. That's absolutely right Red man. I, I ain't hear the question. I'm sorry. Hip hop, we're talking hip hop 50. What does it mean to you? Did you think it would be this long? Um, kind of did, yeah, because I already know like hip hop is a universal language for everybody. But we was born in one of the most pivotal eras there are, and that was the 90s and 80s era. And uh, we still here, and it's glad that that we made a cornerstone for ourselves to still stretch it another hundred years, brother. Right. Absolutely. So well, I put the culture yeah. gotta be moved forward. Cause if not, they're gonna be in trouble. You gotta move, you can't be stagnated with everybody sounding the same, making the same stuff. I'm not taking no, money, no people out of the money's pocket, people out of the money's out of people's pocket because again, I'm not being a hater cause we ain't broke. I miss my, you gotta move music forward. For it to still last, you gotta create people, you gotta create. And there you go. I appreciate it. I know you guys got to get inside. It's good seeing you. Okay, Amy. E. Sermon. Yeah. Ah. Ray. Yes, sir. Keith. Love you to death, brother. All right. Ah, oh, man. There's so much, so many people I got a chance to talk to from Fat Joe. What's up, brother? How's it going? From Fat Joe to uh, Eric Sermon to Keith Murray. The crazy thing with Keith Murray, they just posted a video online of Keith Murray outside. And as you see, Keith Murray's doing well, and I love to see it. And I got my brother. Come on this side. Come on this side. Now, if you don't know, this is my brother, N-O-R-E. Yes. We kind of, I don't want to say started this together, but yeah, we, we started together we and we held and each other down. And Clue. I just want to say thank you. How's it feel, man? I love it, man. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love being here. I love, um, embracing the love. Yeah. I never embraced the love before because I was like too tough. I was like, ah. But now I'm like, oh, whatever. Everybody say hi to me. I, I love it. I love well, it. the show starts in two minutes. I know you got to get your ass inside. Yeah, yeah, I got to change. Tell you I love you. I got to change. change too. Appreciate yeah. you. Yes. And that's what it is. Thank you so much, my Thank brother. Thank you so much. Yes. Love, From love. Nori <laughs> and L.A. Chopper, I got to speak to you. What's yeah. up, brother? How's it going? Hey, hey mama. How y'all doing? There's a lot going on, so I said... So I want to thank our sponsor, Nissan, for making this happen today. I want to thank BET for continuing to recognize, celebrate, and push the culture forward in the most beautiful way. And you know I want to thank you, the viewers, for showing all the love and tuning in tonight and also leaving your comments. You guys are a lot of fun. It's my girl, Jess Hilarious. What up, Jess? Now, hit the socials tonight. Make sure you use the hashtags, hashtag BET Awards, hashtag Coach's Biggest Nights. And uh, don't forget, I'm DJ Envy. Say something, Jess. And it's your girl, Jess Delorius, the third host of Breakfast Club. She I'm here said with it. My guy, she Doris. said it. And I look good, Envy, don't I? Stay, oh, hey, hey. You know. And we'll see y'all later on, OK? That was the 2023 BET Awards Red Carpet Pre-Show presented by Nissan. I'll see y'all later. Peace.